How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now, 2019 is going to be the year for wireless peripherals. In 2018, Corsair released their first wireless gaming mouse, the Dark Core, and in 2019, they're already starting early, bringing out their all new wireless version of the popular and affordable Harpoon gaming mouse. Now, pricing-wise, for the new wireless Harpoon, it is retailing for $50 or 729 Rand, compared to the standard wired version, which is going for $30 or 400 Rand. The design of the new mouse is mostly the same as the previous version, with only a few changes. But let's also just quickly go over the design for some of the new users out there. The Harpoon has a more of a small to a medium size body with a matte black top that has a slight roughness to it. Because of the size, it makes it a more aim for users with a claw or fingertip style grip, but it still works for palm style grips as well. Just be careful if you do have large hands, it might be a bit too small for you. As for the weight, the wired version weighed in at 85 grams, with the new wireless version only being a bit heavier because of the included battery at 100 grams, which is honestly not too bad for a wireless gaming mouse, especially at this price point. The left side has a rubberized texture grip with a deep curve towards the two thumb buttons, which places your thumb pretty much permanently against the buttons. However, it is still quite comfortable and you don't have to worry about accidentally pressing them. The buttons do have a sharper edge to them, so you are able to feel it very clearly and they do have a nice short and quick response to them. Moving to the opposite side, you get the same textured rubberized grip, but with a slighter curve. Finger placement was decent in enough with space for both fingers. I'm not too crazy about these smaller mice. Sometimes finger placement can be a bit of a mission there, but actually it wasn't too bad on the Harpoon. Moving to the left and the right mouse buttons, they feature OMROM switches with a lifespan of 50 million clicks and they have a short and snappy response, which I really did like. Moving to the scroll wheel, it has a decent scroll with short steps and the same rubber textured grip as the wired version. Behind that, you get the DPI switch, also mostly the same as the previous version, but now it has an LED DPI indicator showing you on which of the six DPI levels you are on with different colors. Taking a look underneath the Harpoon, you get four small but smooth glide pads, the small compartment for the 2.4 GHz wireless USB receiver, the connection option switch, and then the new PMW3325 optical sensor with a max DPI of 10,000, 1000 Hz polling rate, and an IPS of 100. But now just before we get into how the new wireless Harpoon performs, the Harpoon has three different connection options, which is awesome. You can either run it in the standard wired mode with the included but proprietary 1.8 meter braided micro USB cable that you just slide into the front of the mouse that will also charge the battery, or you can run it with the 2.4 GHz USB wireless receiver that features Corsair's slipstream technology that adds for near zero latency at only around one millisecond. Also, just a mention, don't lose the USB wireless receiver. I'm not sure if it's unifying, I didn't have any points on that. So if you lose it, then you might lose the wireless option and you just will have Bluetooth. So just keep that in mind. I'm not sure if Corsair is gonna sell them separately and if it's gonna work like that. So just keep that in mind. And then finally, you do also have the Bluetooth 4.2 connection option that makes it really handy for secondary wireless connections to either like a laptop or a second system. But of course, Bluetooth is a bit slower at around eight milliseconds. So I wouldn't really recommend it for any fast paced gaming. 
casual gaming, maybe it'll be okay, uh, or just work in general, but for fast pace, just go for the wired or the 2.4 gigahertz of wireless. The 3325 optical sensor delivered a decent performance with a good tracking, especially for it being wireless and at this price point. I was not able to get the sensor to roll out or experience any jerking. Everything felt as smooth with no delay that I personally could pick up. As for the lift off distance, it wasn't too bad at around 2 DVDs. I would have liked it if it was a bit lower, but it's not too bad. But now getting into a problem with most of the wireless peripherals, and that is a battery. Luckily Corsair states that it can last up to 30 hours or 45 hours on depending on lighting on the 2.5 GHz wireless mode and between 40 to 60 hours on a Bluetooth. And from my use, that does look to be true, with me only charging the mouse the day I received it and it launching around a week with average amount of use. We're on the 2.4 gigahertz, but with the lighting off. But also, I did find that the battery did die very quickly at around 20%. So it might be a false indicator around there or the battery just runs out really quickly but it still delivered a really long gaming performance. Then uh, finally, taking a look at the software, you can do all of the usual stuff, like assign different commands to each of the buttons, except again the left mouse button, create your own macros, launch programs, and more. Then you get your DPI settings, where you can adjust the DPI speeds for the five levels and assign colors to each. As for the lighting, you can change the effects and the colors for the logo on the palm rest between any of Corsair's many effects. And then I can't believe I'm saying this, but rather turn your RGB off because it will save your battery life. So can't believe I'm saying to turn RGB off. It feels so wrong, but for the sake of your battery life, rather just turn it off. And then finally, you can go into the settings tab in the software. You can enable sleep mode, battery saving mode, adjust the polling rate and a few more settings. So now in conclusion, the new wireless Harpoon gaming mouse from Corsair is a really good performing wireless gaming mouse for the price. There are some better wireless gaming mice, but they usually cost around double this one and for the price range that this one falls in, there aren't really a lot of them. So this one is one of the best wireless gaming mice for $50. So the new wireless harpoon is going to be a great option for a gamer that wants to get untethered from those annoying cables, have a plenty of connection options because again, you do have a three, performs a well in a gaming, but also most importantly, it doesn't have to break the bank. And that is probably the most important part. And just like that, the Corsair Harpoon wireless version is going to be just an all out great mouse for the price. So that is pretty much it. Big thanks to Corsair for sending over the Harpoon wireless for this review. If you guys want to pick it up for yourself, definitely check out the links in the video description where you can get it on Rebel Tech if you live here in South Africa or Amazon if you live pretty much anywhere else. But thanks for watching guys. If you did like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. And then I'll check all of you guys next time. Cheers guys.